Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Gals. Today I have with me Ashley McNamara. Did I pronounce it right? You did. Thank you. I worked really hard on that. <laughs> good, good, yeah. good. I just remember from Twitter. Yeah. So let's go into what 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 do you do? What, say, what do what, I what, do? What would you do here at what? Microsoft? What would you, how would you describe that to people? Um, so my, my title is a principal, pri please don't forget that. Mm -hmm. It's yeah, important. It's important. Senior, principal, <laughs> yeah, pa like partner, yeah, pr yeah. practical person. Yeah. I don't even, there's a lot of P's. It's, it's, a, lot it's, of a, it's, a, it's a It's a long, principal cloud developer advocate. Mm. So I would say uh, that no I... No further explanation. No. I, I think I understand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, I, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I bridge the gap between third-party developers and our product team and developers to drive product adoption and make our stuff better. She didn't read that off anything. I, di I didn't. It came from her brain. It does my brain. That was pretty good. Yeah. So what is your area of specialty? Go Linux and containers. Mm, the good stuff. The good stuff. Yeah. All of the things. All of the things. All of the things. Yeah. So I know you're involved in GopherCon. Is that the conference? Yes. And then you do those cute little Gopher I do. cartoon characters. So explain that whole thing to me. What is that community? <laughs> I'm in this Microsoft bubble, so I don't know. I don't know what this is, but I want to be a part of it now. So um, I believe in contributing to open source, and I believe in contributing what you're good at right now. If you're adopting a new programming language, you probably suck in that language. <laughs> and so, like, what are you good at now? Are you good at, uh, like, project manage it, management? Like, donate some time. I was good at graphic design, and they had this cute little gopher mascot. And so I was like, I could do that. Let me just make a bunch of gophers. So I made a bunch of gophers, and then it really took off. And then people were like, I need an avatar. And I was like, I have a life. I don't have time, so I built a site <gasps> called gopherize.me where you can uh, make yourself into a gopher. That is precious. Once this interview is done, I'm going to go do that. <laughs> Please do that. Yeah. So how are you involved in GopherCon, the imaging, the d graphic design part of it? Graphic design. I also keynoted last year nice. about my journey to go because I do all of these cute, like, little gopher things. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people forget that I actually write go. Yes, yes. When you're a graphic <laughs> designer, I forgot that you actually know yes. how to code. So, yes, yeah. so I did a keynote. This year I will be um, the chair, so I'll be uh, selecting the talks. Uh, please submit. Nice. Um, where, is it, where is it held every year? So uh, Denver was this last year. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if it's been in previous locations. Okay, okay. Cool. So how did you get involved in Go and Linux and containers yes. and the good stuff? <laughs> yes. So Go specifically in 2014, I was at OzCon and I was at this um, before Jono Bacon does um, Community Leadership Summit. And I was at that. And I met a guy named Steve Francia, who is my best friend. I can't get rid of him now. Um, and he was like, you should try this Go thing. And I was like, I write Python. Why would I want to do anything else? And he was like, no, really, you should do this. And I was like, no. And then uh, not even a year later, he goes, hey, do you want to do a workshop with me on Go? And I was like, no. I didn't pick it up, homie. Why are you <laughs> bugging me? <laughs> Why would I do that? Yeah. That sounds really dumb. And he was like, well, I can't relate to uh, the new people, mm. so I'm going to write this, and it's going to be above everyone's head. It's not a very nice thing to say, Steve. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It was very logical because then I had to ask all the dumb questions like, what do you mean by this? Yeah. And then we would rewrite it, and we've done that workshop five times in three countries. Wow. And I think we're done now with that specific workshop. When you did it the first time, were you like, oh, Go is cool. I should learn this. Or did it take a while? It really? took a while because um, nobody likes to feel stupid. Mm. And so I felt really, really stupid because mm. Go was very, uh, it's a very specific language. Mm -hmm. It wants you to do things very specifically. Um, and I have a weird brain where it's like an artist brain plus like a logical brain. The two and different hemispheres. The two different They're hemispheres. Yeah, and sometimes they just don't <laughs> mesh. And I'm like, what do computers do? <laughs> so um, it, took, it took a while. It yeah. wasn't until like the third workshop, if I'm being honest, where I was like, okay, I understand oh, this. Okay. So your questions are really authentic. Yes, they were. Yeah. They were very authentic. <laughs> That's awesome. So let's go to Baby Ashley. Baby Ashley. How did Baby Ashley get involved in tech? Let's just say how you were, how you got introduced, your first introduction to it, and then like who you are in like high school. 
Were you like an <laughs> AV nerd? Were you a theater, a drama uh, major? Like, and then, and then where you went to school after that? Okay, so baby Ashley, um, uh, my, my dad always wanted a boy, but he got <laughs> three girls. And so yes. I yes. was his boy. So I didn't really play with dolls. Um, I got, I, I have this Masters of the Universe shirt. Um, because Shira was the only doll I was able to play with because I had He-Man toys. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, my dad worked for NATO. He was a network engineer. Wow. And so we always had uh, a computer in the house mm -hmm. when normal people didn't have a computer yeah. in the house. Mm -hmm. So my dad was also super nerdy and he always had to have like the best computer. Mm -hmm. So I would take his old parts and build a new computer. And then I always had like the best gaming computer. Wow. And so people would come over to my house and we played Dune and everything was rad. Nice. Um, but in the 90s, like, it just wasn't, girls just, d you don't do computers. Mm. Sorry, honey, you're no, a girl. You no, don't, you don't, don't do, do, that. do computers. Don't do that. No. Go play with your dolls. You're really great at drawing. Mm -hmm. um, so you should maybe do something in art. And so I grew up and I became a photographer. Oh. And I did that for about 10 years. And then I found out that uh, photography clients were not my target market, that photographers were, because um, with uh, Ashton Kutcher, thanks a lot, Ashton Kutcher, for introducing the prosumer camera where everyone <laughs> thinks that they can be a photographer. I own a DSLR too, yeah. so. Yeah. Yeah. So nobody knew how to process their photos, and so I started making Photoshop actions and like nice. Lightroom presets. Oh, cool. And then um, I started selling uh, mentorship and like business mentoring, and then I started giving out like free online tutorials nice. on like how to process your photos correctly. And uh, that turned into, I need a website, so let me learn how to build a website. I need to rank on Google, so let me learn SEO. I need a blog, so let me build a blog. Then all my other photographer friends were like, can you do that for me too? Wow. And so then that turned into a sort of side business. And then I started doing some consulting, and I did a consulting gig with Cisco. And then I was like, you know what, this photography thing sucks. Nobody wants to pay for mm -hmm. pictures anymore. Yeah. And I'm making money through this front end dev work. Let me see where this goes. And through the Cisco stuff, I found OpenStack and OpenShift. Mm -hmm. And it's like, that? I <laughs> want to. <laughs> you just talk to two, two very small open source projects. Okay, okay. Um, and I started attending their meetups mm -hmm. and I started contributing to docs initially and then okay. I was like I want to do more so I went to a boot camp I don't recommend that you don't uh, recommend a boot camp nope super Why? don't um, it's 12 weeks of um, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know in 12 weeks mm -hmm. and at the end you're going to be a software engineer and that is you're not at 12 weeks going to be a software mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you're just not going to be mm -hmm. um, and so some of these people, when they're placed, they're normally laid off within like three to six months because oh. they don't know how to do the job oh. because they're not learning real life software development. Mm -hmm. They're learning, you know, a week of JavaScript, yeah, yeah. a week of Python. Yeah. So it's just, it's, it's not, I don't recommend it. I have a list of resources for people Reach who want to her before you learn to, that. Yeah. to code. Yeah. Um, and it just sort of, spiraled from there and then Rackspace hired me and um, and Pivotal hired me and then Microsoft hired me. Look at that. that was, you make it sound so easy. Yeah. That's awesome. So you already had the whole advocacy from the photography era yes. and then it evolved. What was the first programming language you learned? Um, I mean, so real programming language was Python. Mm -hmm. um, Front end dev is still dev work, so HTML and CSS, all that good stuff I learned early on. Okay. Um, I didn't learn any of that super early. Like some people are like, I was programming since I was a kid. Mm -hmm. My dad was a network engineer, mm -hmm. not a yeah, yeah. developer. Yeah. So you knew how to build a computer. I knew how to build a computer. Yeah. A, lot of, a, computer. a lot of software <laughs> people are like, hey, I know software. I don't know hardware. You know, yes. you know both. So then you're, um, so that happened, and then. You came to Microsoft. What made you want to come to Microsoft? So I didn't want to come to Microsoft. Because <laughs> um, you're like in this Go community. <laughs> you're like open source. It's just like, why would you come here? I, like, I, I didn't. Um, 
So Jeff Sanquist and Brian Liston were uh, relentless mm -hmm. in their uh, recruiting process. And finally, I was like, all right, fine, fine. I'll come to Seattle, I'll interview. And when I got here, I was like, okay. This is kind of cool. Uh, okay, this is kind of cool. And, and Jeff was like, we're really embracing open source. And I was like, I'm sure you are. And uh, he was like, no, really, like from the top down, you know, it started with Satya. And then I started researching uh, Satya's leadership. And I was like, okay, I get it. They really are. And I actually enjoy when somebody looks at me and they go, oh, Microsoft, that's gross. <laughs> You're an open source. That's gross. You like that now? You're I like, like that yeah. because I love changing perceptions. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love that that's part of my job where I can be like, no, actually, we are doing cool things. You just see. Yeah. So that's awesome. That's why I chose Microsoft. They wrote a blog post on this. Um, we'll put on the Medium. link below. You can, everyone can read that. That's great. So, do you, what's your uh, next conference you're speaking at? I'm um, doing open dev tomorrow. It's not a conference, but That's a virtual conference. You guys can watch it on demand because this video will be published way, yes. way after that. <laughs> and then, uh, and then after that, uh, I am not speaking at another conference until next year, which is great because I've um, been on the road for like six weeks. It's good to take that break. You know, work on a demo. You can work on a next project. Get your brain percolating on the yeah. next. Oh idea. no, I lied. I'm doing an MVP talk mm. um, in Tokyo in, in November. Take it easy, girl. Yeah. You need the brain to percolate I'll those do. ideas. You I know. do. That's a great story, though. Do you still do photography and um, graphic design? Uh, well, besides I the stuff. I do the graphic design. I do the go for stuff. Um, I've retired from go for stuff. Mm -hmm. It got a little bit overwhelming. The demand was a little bit uh, higher than I expected it to be. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll, I'll, do it, I'll do it every now and again. I, I'm a really big Rick and Morty fan, yeah. so I did a Rick and Morty gopher recently. Oh, that's awesome. And um, I'll do some stuff for CNCF. Mm -hmm. um, all of my gopher work is free, so it's time that I give the community because the community is awesome. That's mm -hmm. why I stuck with Go. Because never, I never feel shame when I don't know something. <laughs> I, there's a great Slack channel, which I don't know if we can also link that, but there's a great Slack channel where you can ask questions and everyone's just super giving with That's their time. Awesome. Yeah, it's good to be in a community like that. It's yeah. encouraging, not like, oh, you don't know that. Exactly. Like, I hate that. Me too. That's great. Okay, time for our lightning round. Oh. We learned all about Ashley, baby Ashley, grown up Ashley. Now it's time to get a little more personal. You ready for this? I wrote them down because okay. I'm going to get a brain right. fart. Uh, Star Wars or Star Trek? Both. Okay. I mean, I haven't had that answer before, but really, like, oh, okay. <laughs> what do you spend money on that makes your life easier? Oh man, uh, takeout. Yeah, like Uber Eats. Yeah, U Uber Eats or Favor. Um, I, I, I don't cook. You don't cook. Yeah, she's yeah. too important for that. She can have time for that. Uh, Coffee cook. or tea? Coffee. What's the first thing you do in the mornings before you start working? Coffee. Oh yeah, okay. That's simple <laughs> enough. Wake up and drink coffee. Drink coffee. Do you listen to music when you work? Sometimes. What kind of music? Uh, I started listening to Tycho, which I think is like um, old people music. Oh. But it, there, there's <laughs> no I didn't know that was a genre. There's, yeah, it's old people music. <laughs> it's for like when old people are trying to be cool, <laughs> like with the young people, but it hasn't uh. quite meshed. But there are no words, uh. and so like sometimes I'll listen to that. Other than that, it's always uh, mid-90s rap. Yes. Or R and B. Yeah, or yeah. R and B. Yes. Important. What is the most useless gadget you have purchased? <laughs> like a wearable or a <laughs> virtual set uh, or PlayStation VR. Oh, I didn't. I haven't played with that yet. Is yeah, it, I played. Is it cool once. for like a minute and then you're just like, yeah, mm, yeah. yeah. I was gonna say I, I, I stare at a computer screen all day. My commute to work, like I'm always in it. Last thing I want to do when I go home is be stuck in another virtual set. Yeah, I would say eight hundred dollars. I've used it once. That's that's okay. Yeah, <laughs> pretty mad at myself about that. Uh, oh, this one Seth and I were laughing about, the, uh, the tattoo that you regret the most. When I was 17, my dad said, you can't have a tattoo. <laughs> and I said, the hell I can't. And so I went out and I got seven tattoos <gasps> in, in a week. And um, I regret all of them. <laughs> but, and I also put them in places on my body where at the time they're like, you don't want a job, do you? These are all where prisoners would get tattoos. And so the one I regret the most is oh on, I'm just going to turn around, on the back of my neck. I don't know what this is. I think it's a <laughs> skull butterfly. It's awful. 
It's awful. I can't believe you got seven in a week just I, to prove to your dad. That yeah, you my, my dad was oh. like, oh, honey, I'm going to have the last <laughs> laugh. And he did. That yeah. one's a great one, though. Yeah. I, I'm, I like that one. Your favorite app? Oh, uh, Uber. <laughs> okay. You're an Uber fan, is what we're going to assume. Uh, biggest online time waster? Um, I love everything online. <laughs> I mean, every, I mean, most social media apps yes. are, you would say possibly, are like a time waster, mm -hmm. but I use it for my job. That's true. I'd say I spend a lot of time on Twitter. Yeah, that's not a time waster. That's not a time It's a learning, right. community engagement experience. Right. You know what else is not a time waster? Rick and Morty, binge watching that. Not, not a, time, a waster. time waster. That is a good investment. You not should a do time that. waster. What is your advice, this is the last question, what's your advice for the younger generation to get involved in tech? Don't let the struggles of this generation persuade you from jumping right in. Mm -hmm. Be strong, be vocal, don't quit. Love it. Now it's Ashley. Follow her on Twitter. What's your uh, handle? At Ashley McNamara. Simple. Simple. Follow her. She's, one, she's a good one to know.